when a call for proposals for a big, high-profile international visit by Mary Sue Coleman came, we responded to that by putting a proposal together that emphasized the long-standing collaborations in both of our areas, you know, the social sciences broadly, the medical sciences broadly. It just made sense that we bring together these lines of work and, and suggest that the president and the delegation go to Brazil. As the medical school has been really thinking about developing a bilateral synergistic partnerships um, over the last years, how can we develop a platform where we're bringing Brazilian students, residents, faculty here to benefit from training and, and other opportunities, um, that we're bringing more Michigan students, uh, residents, faculty to Brazil. So some of the longer standing collaborations um, have been with with some of our uh, clinical and basic science researchers. A good example is that um, the University of Michigan has one of the main centers for treating and trying to understand adrenal cancer. The University of Sao Paulo is also a leading center for trying to understand adrenal cancer. The two institutions working together, they've been able to get enough patients, um, they've been able to gather data, they've been able to work together on research and are really making important strides in understanding what causes this uh, very uh, uh, fatal uh, cancer. One of our primary objectives is to, to draw attention to the relationships that are long-standing and uh, vibrant um, between U of M researchers and Brazilian researchers. And then secondly, we want to, we're hoping that the visit by President Coleman will, by drawing attention to those collaborations, will encourage collaborators to, to continue and to expand the collaboration that they're doing, the work that they're doing. And, and then thirdly, we hope to identify areas of potential collaboration that we're presently unaware of. I'll be in touch with historians at the State University at Unicampi, for example, and I'll ask them, oh, I have a colleague who works in natural resources. You have colleagues there, and they not only have colleagues, they have a whole center for the study of sustainability, and then they got in touch with each other, and there, there's a lot of uh, sort of excitement. I think it's a really a wonderful case of um, synergy, uh, that there are things that we can offer them, but there's a lot that we can learn from Brazil.